Hello, welcome back to War of the Walkers mod for Seven Days to Die. This is Geezer Al, and this is episode 65, which will be the season finale for our first season of the Krusty Geezer's channel playing War of the Walkers. Um, yeah, basically, you know, with the experience set to 300%, I maxed out and um, am now unable to get you know, any additional perks to complete like the class quests to open up some of those uh, other uh, skills. So I wanted to just r drive around. Um, so we spent the f last episode on a road trip, just trying to open up more of the map. We've made it back to the desert biome in the southwest corner of the map. And uh, I just want to finish out the episode or the season you know, just seeing how, how much we can get done. So let's get going. Oh, novice game high school. Yeah, it looks like we are at the end of the road. <gasps> is that the wasteland? Oh, it is. Oh my God. Uh, of course, there's a fence around it. Ooh. Well, I guess I... need to go back out to the front. Novice Gain Survivors. <laughs> An appropriate name. Well, at least now I know where the wasteland is. I had no idea it would be this far west. Trying to get a little bit of the border on the map. Yeah, even being on the edge of the wasteland, it turns dark like it's night, nighttime. Okay, so the wasteland doesn't take up very much of this side of the map. Um, so let's keep driving south. Just see where, it, how far it goes. watching the squad take care of business it reminds me of my NPCs in Fallout 4 settlements I used to love beefing them up giving them good weapons and then letting them defend the bases from those random attacks by super mutants all right so we're gonna keep driving south along the border is that what we're doing 
because I doubt if we're going to have a nice road here. Well, now that it's daytime and I've got plenty of gas, I want to grab that aloe. to say this could be a good time to try the gyrocopter again. Bear, bear. Who's this? Corporal Barnes? Do I have a Barnes? I have a, I don't think I do. Barnes, follow me. Cool. So we have four people in the squad now, and I think I had a Corporal Barnes earlier in the game. Yeah, Private Bailey, Corporal Pyle, and Sergeant Rock, I think. Yep. Uh, wheat Harvest. Yeah, Sergeant Rock. craft a couple of aloe creams. You know what? <laughs> the hoarder instinct takes over. Um, yeah, let's just keep going south. Oh, no. I want to pick this up. And I want to put the gyrocopter on the toolbar. Do I need wheat? No. Um, where is it? Oh, there was the truck. There it is. Okay, so actually this isn't very flat. So let's go over here where it's a little bit more flat. Let's just craft the aloe. Okay. Don't need to carry that extra one. And, um, took all the gas. Ooh, but it left me. Nice. Okay. Good. So I've got enough to... Durability 2000 speed. Do I have vehicle repair kits? No. Can I craft vehicle repair kits? Yes, I can. 20? Don't need 20. Let's do... Do three. Okay. Did I put the aloe cream on? How many do I got? Three. Okay. So we'll let, oh, there's still four. I think there's one more, two more crafting. Um, yeah, so we'll have the... We'll have the vehicle repair kits going. This thing's okay. Okay, so you go W forward. C, and I'm pointing the wrong way. Oops. Let me get out. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. 
pick it up. Point it somewhere flat. Yeah. Okay, so now you go forward. This is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Okay. So W forward. Oh, come on. W's forward. And you just tap, tap C. Why isn't C taken off? I thought C was, oh, is it the space bar? Yeah, the space bar. accidentally run over a wolf. Okay, so we click clicked the Sorry, I can't think to talk about two different things at once. So this is taking way too much skill. Um, I'm going W to go forward. I just clicked the uh, mouse to turn off. I'm using... Uh, sorry, sorry, I can't think and do two things at the same time. I've got W pressed down and held down. I'm using the A key to go left a little bit. and the D key to go right a little bit. And I just click the mouse to put us on a trajectory forward. And I, like I said, I'm just holding down the uh, W button. But I wanna turn around, so I'm gonna click the mouse. I do like the view below, that's kinda cool. And I'm gonna go D to turn. Oh, I love that view. This is great. Wow. Okay, D, 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 to turn it quicker. So the takeoff was a little shaky. I kept pressing C thinking that was to take off, but it was the space bar. Um, okay, now that I'm turning around, I click the mouse just to get a view of the village as we go by. Very cool. Once I get more skilled, I could try landing on something like that helicopter pad below us. Yeah, my computer's memory is at 22 gig out of 32 gig, or thir yeah, 32 gig. And I forgot to try to change in the line of vision settings. We're still on the lowest of all settings. Um, and let's go D to go to the right a little bit. So let's get the wasteland. Pressing the space bar to go up a little bit. I, when I say press, I mean tapped it. I'm not holding it down. Wow. Screenshot. Oh, this is great. All right, so the wasteland has a big POI there. I haven't spent much time in the wasteland at all, even in my practice games, so I've, oh. All right, well, I don't want that. 
So we're going out. Yeah. I'm going D to turn right. So we'll stay right on the edge of the wasteland. And press spacebar to stay up a little bit. Tap the spacebar, that is. We've got the mouse clicked. So we can see the landscape around us. Gas is doing great. That fuel saver mod was a good thing we did that. I wonder what happens if you try to fly too close to the, the edge of the map. You probably hit that radiation zone. Oops. Too close to the wasteland. Okay, so the wasteland is just that one section of the map. Just look at it ends down there. And we're getting closer to the um, desert biome again, where we were before. Now look at the map on here. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't tell if I was going to die, kill the gyrocopter or not. Let's head left. Okay, a little bit smaller town. Looks like, ah, oh, I couldn't tell what that store was. Oh, helicopter, or a, yeah, plus sign up there, hospital helicopter, helipad. And now C brings you down. So just a little bit at a time, pressing C. Yeah, it looks like a Red Cross tent. Oh, supply drop. Better keep an eye on the elevation. Now, is this the map where I was before? No, it was not. I see a traitor flag anywhere.
All right, let's check the map. Okay, yeah, coming back into place where we were before. And we're losing altitude. All right. All right, so let's go south. Be careful here. I have the feeling this might be the boundary of the map. So the minute I hit a radiation zone warning, I'll crank left or right. Yeah, this is doing something weird. No! Well, that was kind of cool. Did a 180. All right, so what I want to do is I want to head to the eastern si side of the map now where I think it's uh, water. Yeah, I think we're pretty close to the southern part of the map. You know, and somewhere around here there must be a tall peak because one of the trophies is to get to the um, it's the on top of the world trophy and it says you have to be like 225 meters high. But I don't want to try landing this thing. I'm not good enough to set down and then take off on just a short runway. Okay. It would have been nice to have a turbo mod on this so we could go a little faster, but it is what it is. Yeah, now those are, yeah, the Dishong Tower that we've seen before. Okay, now we're coming into the, uh, I better get out of the map. Close. Uh, I'm hitting the space bar. Why am I still following? Falling, there you go. Takes a minute to catch up, I guess. I'm pressing C to kind of level us out.
Okay, we're entering back into the uh, pine forest area. I think we've been in that desert town. Yeah, we have. That's the one that brought us into this map. And then we set up our horde base over on the other side to the left there. Now this town, however, we did not spend much time in, over in the pine forest. I think that's the one we saw from the mountaintop. No, I'm totally wrong. There's another one farther to the east that we're going to go for, and that's where I think we're going to find the body of water. leveling out a bit. Oh, I just thought of something. I don't actually need to be on a mountaintop, right? If I just fly as high as I can. All right, there's the water. Cool. So I don't think I've, there must be another city farther north of this, because I've been all over this one. This is where we did that um, first quest with the barn that caught on fire. In fact, I think that's it right to the left of the gyrocopter. All right, I better not go over the water. A, A, A to turn left. Very cool. Now let's go to the right just a little bit. up a little bit of the, the blue edge of the map. It's coming up on 2 p.m. game time, so we still have plenty of daylight to keep flying. Nice. There's a mountain peak up ahead that looks pretty high. Yeah, here's where we came into the area where I went underwater off that little peninsula there.
Well, let's go left and let's open up this little body of water a little bit. You know, once you get up in the air, flying around is pretty easy. Just keep your finger on W, middle finger on W, and then A and D to go left and right. Space bar to tap every once in a while to make sure you're still elevated. And then C to level out. M to check the map. I think I'm at the highest elevation this thing will fly. I'm pressing W, you can see it kind of angling up at the front end, but I'm not going any higher. I'm going to level out. Check the map one more time. Go back to the shoreline. What's that POI? Is that a prison? So that city that just popped into the left, I think that's the one we saw from the uh, mountaintop driving in. Is that right? No, it's not, because that's... No, no, I'm confused. Or the map could be glitchy again. It thinks we're back in our main gameplay area. Yeah, we're coming up to uh, Okay, I better watch my fuel. I'm at 28%. 
I need to find a road to set down on. Yeah, I'll head for that road up ahead. Yeah, I'm not going to try to set down on this uh, dirt path. I'm going to go for that paved surface road up ahead. Flag. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Trader Joel. Yeah, let's go to Trader Joel. Yeah, there's there's Western Town there. <laughs> let's see if I can set it down right in front of Trader Joel. Up, 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 Don't hit the trees. No, no, no. Level out, level out, level out. <laughs> yeah, remember what I said about flying looked easy? Um, yeah, if you're just going in a straight line, it's easy. All right, so we're coming in. I'm going to go C and kind of left at the same time without hitting trees. Okay, crank hard left. <laughs> plus, plus, plus. Left. I'm cranking left. Was not graceful. Pick it up. <laughs> but everybody survived. We still have half a tank. I mean, a quarter of a tank. Did they get the wolf that was over there? All right, there's our squad. Uh, and I think we're going to call it an episode. What do you think? Not an episode, a season. So I've been going in this door. Yeah, there's my campfire from the beginning. Still never figured out how to pick those up. Oh, I think they need to be in a land claim block to pick them up, right? Squad, that was fun.
Let's take a look at the map, see what we got. So yeah, we're pretty much at the north end. Uh, we know now that to the east, it's um, a body of water. So we follow the body of water all the way down south, went around those little inlets there. So this is the town, yeah, where we did the first quest. But I thought for sure that when we came over these mountains, that there was a town over in this area. And maybe I was just seeing this town. Maybe that's what I was seeing. Yeah, because, I don't know. Because the map was kind of weird when we were coming down in this area. Um, it was like right around, I should have marked it on the map. I think it was like right around in here. Because um, we just opened this up today, so that wasn't open, so it was this. Anyways, um, then we came in from this area. We drove around this whole area, opened it up. We did a quest here, and then... As we were driving around, we found the desert biome here, drove around, opened it up, eventually came across the trader here, um, did some quests for the trader in this area. Oh, did the tree house. Yeah, we went that far south. Um, and then all this stuff was opened up today just by flying around. And there was the supply drop that we saw. And... Uh, yeah, so we saw that the wasteland eventually ends down here somewhere. It does not go all the way south. But we did it. We found all four biomes. Uh, we found another trader bob there. Yeah, this is more of the frozen or snowy forest. Um, what was I going to do? I wanted to see more about how the river flowed. Where was it? This. Oh, it probably just goes around in a loop here. Yeah. Not much more room for it to go. Oh, yeah, it's dried there. Um, so, yeah, I, th um, I enjoyed this. This is a fun first season. Uh, like I said, I had played some practice games myself um, in War of the Walkers. Just enough to come into a map, run around a bit, get used to the controls. I had played Alpha 20 in the original game for about 20 hours, you know. And the thing I really like about War of the Walkers is the ability to pick up NPCs. And it just feels like you're playing with a friend. So it's not, it's not <clears throat> so solitaire of a game. Even though solitaire is not bad, you know, uh, I think I've mentioned before that I played like 400 hours in Death Stranding, which is definitely a solitaire game, and I really enjoyed it, but um, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> At one point, I thought about trying to hit every POI in the town, and that's just like way, now that we've seen how big this map is, yeah, way impossible. But I think that's going to do it. Going to call it season one. Done. Uh, if you're here from the beginning, thanks for hanging in there. It's been fun. And I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do for season two. Season two will probably not be as complete. You know, here I tried to show the entire gameplay, you know, noobish mistakes and all. Uh, the next one, if I do it, I'll try to edit out the boring stuff. All right, everybody, take care. Season one, done.